Beavers, donkeys, whales, and coyotes have taken over the second floor of Museum London. Janice Salk is in to explain. Janice. No Easter Bunny, though. That lovable metal rhino out front of Museum London is why Tom Benner's art is so popular. It asks people to get involved. Pat it, hug it, and hopefully don't tip it over. Benner's new show, which opens tonight, also features animals and their big ones. Get up close with the beavers, walk amongst the herd of donkeys, and the plywood sculptures, hands on, please. Unlike most art, Benner's hoping you'll actually reach out and touch these wild asses. They have a fear of art, right, and you're not supposed to touch, but these things, everything is so tactile in this show. In Tom Benner's museum world, these life-size sculptures are friendly, and if you're willing to be interactive, the artist is happy. It makes you feel like you're on the right path. Nova Craft Canoe casts the donkey-like sculptures out of fiberglass. Benner built the prototype out of clay. It's been essentially one of my biggest problems. <laughs> Anything that I've ever kind of tried to accomplish turns into something large and 3D. Fifteen fiberglass beavers praying to a copper canoe represent the native tribes Tecumseh was trying to unite. Taking stories that I find are gleaned from the library and morph them into a new piece of work. His shrines to life in the river are stories carved in wood with found objects he wants you to handle. There's a tribute to the last passenger pigeon and the leatherback turtle. Benner carved mollusks, a bigger version of the ones in his beloved Thames. Played in it when I was a kid. Right? Yeah. And we're, we're so fortunate to have that river. And Benner loves the wilderness. He merges it with true stories like the baby harpooned whale that make you feel the tragedy. It took him five months to carve his copper moon crater by crater. All you need is the moon, a 14-foot red pine, and a copper coyote and instant landscape. It's on tour, a hit when it was exhibited at Toronto's busy Union Station. Benner hopes you will use your imagination, wander through, touch, and question. And by the way, those are orca fins there. And Dan, May 29th, the artist will take people on a free walk through his exhibit at 1 o'clock. Well worth the tour. It's lots of fun. All right. Uh, thanks a lot, Janice.